Good morning, good morning, happy Tuesday. It's another beautiful day here at the Bronflay. I've just arrived here on the prison grounds. You can see it's an incredible morning. It's just breathtaking and I'm taking a moment just here at the Flay, taking a walk before I get into the men, the group of Journeys men who are waiting for their session. We are in a very intensified process. They are on their graduation track. So it means this is the next two months is all about getting them ready to, yeah, to get to the finish line. And what that really means, it means to, to deeply understand and connect to the concepts. I mean, graduation is not just about showing up or attending the program. It's really all about application. It's how do, do I live these tools? How, how do the concepts come alive in my life? Are people noticing? And one of the things that really is, is just, yeah, it's blowing me away is how deeply they care about each other's development, how they show up in support of each other's journeys, each other's growth. And it's been a big takeout for me in this season here at the Maximum Center with these men who are in the first stage of TRI, the responsible individual, the TRI awakened process. It's really this notion of how deeply they care about each other, how much they support, how they step in when they see one man, one brother in change, who is like losing his footing a bit. He is reactive and then immediately they come in to lend a hand to, to talk to him, to support him, to show him more angles, more ways. And they really lean into each other this way. So instead of being brothers in gangsterism or brothers in crime, they really shifted into this beautiful awakening space of being brothers for change. So a big take out for me. And, and another thing that, of course, your brown flare means many things to me. It's here where I brought the first, um, well, the first year I was writing my book, The Responsible Individual, back in 2008. Um, and they were actually the first um, journeys uh, men who were sitting with my notes. And now, in this season, I am in the last stretch of writing the sequel. So this is a really exciting time, 12 weeks to finish The Art of Being Human. And what's so profound about writing this book is, of course, all these concepts have been sharpened and honed and refined in the fire of thousands of journeys these last 16, 17 years. And it's such a privilege to write this book, to um, yeah, be an instrument for that process. And of course, every time I sit in a, in a session, in a sacred session space, I keep seeing more, I keep learning more, I keep expanding more, and this enriches this toolkit. What's also really exciting for me about finishing this book, which is my entire coaching method, the will of consciousness, the model, all the case studies within it, it's also the book is a memoir. So it's a very naked book. <laughs> You're going to see, yeah, my, my journey in so many seasons. There's so many nuances and layers. Um, I'm a student like everybody else on this journey, and that's where it's all come alive. So what excites me as well is that this book is an important part of the coaching toolkit. And later this year and in 2025, I will have a big, big focus on helping coaches, leaders, entrepreneurs, sharpening their coaching um, skill set, their coaching toolkit, especially for depth, because it's one thing that we often neglect, we think, um, doing strategy, we think doing our careers, doing our jobs. It's just about changing our habits and changing our mindset. 
but all of these things have deep 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 roots <laughs> so this is a toolkit for depth and for expansion but expansion has to start very deep in our journey so this is just a little share from me this morning here at Bronfley enjoying this beautiful beginning of a new day and I was wondering what yeah what does your season look like what are some of the things you are creating and are you also allowing yourself to set yourself goals and deadlines and work towards that to finish things to become a finisher I mean it's a big thread in my story and um, one of the characters in my book which of course is myself as well I have several characters in that book but it is it starts in Karina the disengaged one Karina that really didn't have any direction. Karina, who didn't really finish things back, back, back in the early days. And then really evolving into this space of, of choosing where am I going to take my life? What is my direction? And also to have the courage to try out things, to finish things, to complete things. So what is it that you right now in your season what's your big goal what is going to be like the next two three months what is going to be one of your targets one of the things you would like to finish because it is in this space of stretching ourselves that we discover so much more of what we can do and what and also what we what we burn for what is it that you're here to do what is your purpose and unless we're willing to take things for a spin, try things out, start project, finish projects. We won't really know what it is that makes our heart sing. So yeah, that's just a little reflection here from me to you this morning. What are you going to unleash these next few months? And if you feel like it, you can add a comment. So I am finishing my book, <laughs> the writing of my book. Um, and uh, can't wait for so many more projects to start after the book there's so much on the horizons and more to add to the big tapestry so I'm just going to show you just this peaceful peaceful space this morning and I hope you also take some time not just rush into the day or into your tasks or into finishing whatever you're finishing you know we we also have to know when to accelerate and when to just break for a moment when to pause and it's it's not like either or it's both and um, so this is a moment of me pausing and now i'm gonna go into my car i'm gonna drive to the maximum prison accelerate into the facilitation space have a beautiful day. Lots and lots of love from me to all of you.